okay so in this video we'll be talking about how to divide fractions okay so fractions uh, dividing fractions is much more um, trickier compared to the um, the multiplication of fractions so but we will we must only remember one rule so we'll just write first the rule here so Let's just write that through. So the rule in division of fractions, so we first we just need to change the division sign into a multiplication sign and invert the second fraction and invert the second fraction. So basically we what we're going to, to do is to make the division sign to become a multiplication sign after we invert the second fraction or the divisor. Okay, so this part here, this, this is what we call as getting the reciprocal of a fraction. So what is a reciprocal? So a reciprocal, so that is just the inversion of a fraction. So when you say inversion, you say inversion, you exchange places the numerator and denominator. For example, if you have one half, the reciprocal of one half is two over one. So in this given, one half is our fraction. If you are going to get the reciprocal, you make the denominator two as the numerator, and you make the numerator here one as your denominator for the reciprocal. Or in other words, you just invert the fraction so in division we will use the uh, concept of reciprocal so the inversion of a fraction so let's have an example so example okay so for example we have 2 over 3 divide uh, this will be 3 over 4 okay so first you let's just have our solution here First, you make the, multi the division sign into a multiplication sign. So that will be 2 over 3 times. Then you invert the second fraction. This fraction, not this fraction. So this fraction, the divisor. So the inversion of that one or the reciprocal of that one is you make the numerate, the denominator, the numerator. So that will be 4 over. So this is the, you make the numerator, the denominator. So this is 3, so this will be 3. So this is now the new um, operation of our fraction. So this is multiplication. So applying the same concept for multiplication of fractions, so you have 2 times 4, so you multiply the, the numerators over 3 times 3, so you will have 8 over 9. So this is already a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator and you have and this is also in the lowest term because you don't have any number that could be divided in both the numerator and the denominator and this is now your answer okay so let's this will be our example one so let's have again another example here mm, maybe we will have a mixed number okay so we have um, five and three pif divide divide seven and one third so again solution for this one is first you must convert this one into prop improper fraction 
we have 5 times 5, that is 25, plus 3, that would be 28, over 5. Then it's just first have the 20 division. This, this is just that first um, convert our answer. So this we have 7 times 3, that will be 21, plus 1, that will be 22, over 3. Now let's change our sign. So we have 28 over 5 times reciprocal. So we just inverse this one. That would be 3 over 22. So using multiplication, that means we have 22 over 3 times, I don't know, 28 of, times 3 over 5 times 22. Of course, we could cancel this one, this two. So what, what I mean by cancel is that they have a common divisor. If you are going to divide both sides, if you are going to divide 28 and 22 by 2, so 28 divided by 2, that will be 14. So that is still uh, somewhat uh, uh, consideration, but in this uh, process, we are now um, trying to get the lowest term of these two uh, two parts of the fraction here, the 28 and the 22. So 5, so 22 divided by 2, that will be 11. So you have 14 times 3, that will be equal to 42. Then we have 11 times 5, that will be 55. So you have this is already a proper fraction, so no need to convert this one into a mixed form. Then, if we try to check if we could divide a number to the numerator and denominator so there's no number of that we could divide if two then this will not be divide, divisible by two if three this is not divisible by three so this is now our answer okay so that will be all uh, for this video about division of fractions so thank you for watching this video and as always have a good day